Hey guys, it is Bama Mops here. And we have just came out of the courtyard downtown Dallas, Texas, right across from the Reunion Tower, downtown Dallas. And what we're gonna be doing now is uh, take you on a little walk. So we left uh, the Jasper, Alabama, well, there's Holiday Inn Express right there. Didn't even realize it. Um, Jasper, Alabama at, I think about uh, 4 p.m. Probably about two, three nights ago. That's no, it's two nights ago. <coughs> we left uh, Jasper, Alabama, coming to Dallas, Texas. So we left at four. I got to Monroe at 10 p.m. and decided to take a crash, which was very smart of me to do. I think you did an excellent job doing that. Then we got up at 6.15 this morning, drove all the way to uh, South Fork Ranch. That may sound familiar. To some of my older guys back there that is where the show Dallas was filmed 1978 to 1991 and also 2012 to probably about 2014 15 love the skyline here in Dallas. Been here two or three times going through the airport always looking at the skyline. I've been telling my wife hey we need to go to Dallas man check this stuff out. It looks awesome and so far it's been. I mean today's been jam-packed. I mean we went to South Fort Ranch then got to the hotel and as I showed you a second ago I have to walk back here now. Hey walking all the way back there. I just showed it to you. Went to Reunion Tower. Also went to a great meaty barbecue place and they talk about sweet cute you know where they put all the thick sauce on and it's all sweet and tangy and stuff like that i'm talking about, this is just like true q man this is all about the meat it's called the pecan lodge the pecan lodge in dallas texas it's somewhere you need to go that is the bank of america building the tallest building in downtown dallas now we're coming up on a place that probably everybody knows. Looking at that building, <clears throat> several of you are probably like, hey, that's where it looks familiar. Especially if you've been here in Dallas. You know what it is already. Let's see how this is going to go here. Oh, got me a walk. Walking. Walking across the road. Walking across the road. Quicker. Stretch it out. Yeah, so many years ago, 1963, in the month of November, you all know the story. President John F. Kennedy came down here. He is driving down this road. And here we are at the Red Rock right beside us. Driving down this road. He comes up here. This is Main Street, which this is not the one. <clears throat> Try to figure out if I want to cross here or cross the next light. I think I'll cross the next. What is this? Dallas County Criminal Courts. I always love coming to the city, seeing the old architecture. I mean, it's so neat. Oh, we gotta go.
Walking, walking, walking. Walking, walking. And here we are. <clears throat> so in 1963, that was called the book depository from all the history classes I've had. And now it's called the Dallas County Administrative Building, which it may have been called that then. I just don't know. And I think they have it marked up there. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit for you so I don't screw up the video. But yeah, you sit there at the corner. I think I have it marked where they uh, shot from. I know a lot of you guys will say supposedly shot from. <coughs> But I'm not going to get all into that in this video. This is just the facts. Yeah, so this is Elm Street. So Kennedy and his whole entourage would have turned down this way. And this whole area is about the same as it was. Like in history books, on the videos, I'm um, coming across. In uh, history books on the videos, it's just hard to get a, a grasp of what actually happened. But here it is. I mean, the whole area is pretty much for lack of a better word. Hey, check out that takes the sunset over there. Look at that way back over there. Yeah, everything here is pretty much the same as it was, I guess. I mean, nothing really changed. But, and there's a pretty steep grade here. I didn't really get that. But there's a fairly steep grade to this hill here. I mean, it's basically a hill that Kennedy was going down. I mean, I always thought it was sort of flat, you know? So to how much I know. And then, up there, like in the thousands of videos that you've already watched yourself, you know, there's that fence, the grassy knoll, as it's referred to. I'd really like to know the guy who coined that term. If anybody knows, leave a comment down below. So yeah, so that's the grassy knoll. No. Now, where all these people that witnessed it when they dove down, I mean, I don't know all that stuff. I mean, who was laying there and who was there and who was over there? I don't know about that. Now, here's the other part is, coming from here, I mean, I think it was, he was probably in the middle of the street going down. And right there's the uh, book depository again. And there's the window that he uh, shot from. Lee Harvey Oswald. I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. But yeah, just this whole area. Wait, who's that guy? Who's that walking across there? Is that somebody that was... Of course not. Um... That's a sad day in America, man. It's like one of those 9-11 days. You know, wherever you were, where Kennedy was shot, you know, you know where you was when Kennedy got shot. Now, let me show you this. You know, over there's a Hyatt Regency in the convention. I think it's like the K. Hutchinson Convention Center. And there's the uh, Reunion Tower. That's gonna look cool once it gets darker. So that's it guys i mean that's dealey plaza in a nutshell um there's a uh a monument here and i mean that's not john f kennedy that's somebody else that statue up there which i'll let you discover that once you come to dallas and go to dealey plaza by yourself and yeah, they're doing the old red white and blue with the reunion fall tonight All right, so I want to move on this way.
as usual I don't throw my camera in people's faces <laughs> it's just not polite to do that yeah don't throw your camera in people's faces they'll be on TV they'll find a way So again, to give you some orientation, I mean, to show you what I can see from right here. So, Vili Plaza is like right there. I mean, it's like there. And then coming back this way, you got the Holiday Inn Express and the uh, Courtyard Marriott. Literally just right down the street, two blocks maximum. Here's the uh, Red Rock building. It's also a museum in there you can go visit. So I think that'll be something cool for you to do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's helpful. Uh, subscribe. Like. Hit that notifications bell. You know, follow Bama Mobs for diverse content. You'll see a lot of my fitness videos, hotel room reviews, travels such as this. And this is Probably the one most surprising to me, being here at Dealey Plaza, John F. Kennedy was shot like right there, 1963. I mean, this whole place was shut down. And then the rest just, I don't know. I think I'll do that tonight. I'll look at my history book, you know, see exactly where uh, they took Oswald to, where did they take Kennedy to, I forgot all that stuff. And if those places still exist, then I might try to get y'all some video of that. Currently, my man, my best, the video I like the most. I don't know if I can stick out and see it. <coughs> this little memorial here, I'm coming out right now. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you can see the tower, the high reach, the see. That's a cool picture, man. I think I may do that. I think I'm going to go back down there where those peeps are and just give me a still photo. A little selfie going back that way. Hey guys, I enjoyed it. Subscribe, like. It helps me out a lot. Hit that notifications bell. Out here working for y'all. See y'all later.